Welcome to another edition of Around the Valley with Dave and Wanda from WGRC. We are hanging out in a beautiful location in Mifflinburg. It is the White Springs Homemade, and I've already seen part of the menu, and Wanda, it looks like we're in for a treat. It looks amazing. So this is my friend Chrissy. Chrissy, I'm so excited to see what all you make, how you do it, and I know from personal experience that it's amazing. So looking okay. forward to finding out all about it. Well, Chrissy, uh, before we go in and, and see what's happening here in the uh, the bakery, tell us a little bit about the history behind the bakery. How long have you been doing this and uh, a little bit how we got to where we are today? Okay. So White Springs Homemade used to be just decorated cookies and that was back in 2019. Yeah. I'd opened up White Springs Homemade and um, I actually, my sister-in-law said, hey, I would like to give you a gift. Brenda Oberheim's like, hey, want to give you a gift? Uh, what do you want? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I just would rather do something together. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm going to think about that. So she um, found this cookie decorating class for us to do. Um, it, it's a great thing she got it for me because it was expensive to do. But um, it was like a three, four hour class. And as I'm doing, I'm like, I love That's this. what started this. That's what started this. That's and I great. had no intention of making any for anybody. Yeah. Wow. But I, it was like early December. It was a Christmas class. And um, I had said to the kids, it's like, guys, I know what I want for Christmas now. I want uh, tips and cookie cutters and cookie sheets and, <laughs> and co food coloring. And I was like, I just thought this will be so much fun for us to do. Yeah. I thought right after Christmas, we'll break everything out and we'll make Christmas cookies. And we did. And then somebody saw it and they're like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. And so like, could you make us some cookies? And I'm like, yeah. I guess. And so that's where that it started. Just took off. Yep. And I, um, that was the... Uh, winter of 2018. Um, and then I did that for a couple years. I was at the farmer's market for a while in Lewisburg. And then I finally got so many orders there. I didn't, yeah. I couldn't do cookies for people to buy there and then the orders. So I pulled out of there and then COVID hit. And mm. so I, you know, there wasn't gathering. So I, and um, my husband just within the past year built this place. It's beautiful. Uh, yes. Um, and I had just actually this center area was supposed to be a wood shop and for my son Christian mm. and I just said to him I was like you know if you ever down the road could like build on a little spot on here for like my bakery <laughs> and he's like wait let's ditch the whole wood shop idea we're putting the bakery in and that's I was like really? awesome so he made all of this happen that's great and um so that was great and so then I got re um re-registered and actually they made me not just the limited food establishment which I was before but a yeah. commercial kitchen which yeah. I wasn't expecting which was pretty cool yeah um so now I get to do like cream cheese ice I could like the, the sky's the oyster. limit yeah. that's awesome so, um not that I will I mean I just wanted to do breads so I branched well you just started out with cookies too yeah. <laughs> so over COVID I was doing sourdough and uh, like making bricks and all yes. kinds of stuff out of kids were like it tastes good you know and it was like I made my own starter. Her name is Mildred. <laughs> <laughs> and like Mildred was not fully ripe when I made my first loaf. And I mean, it was a like brick, literally it didn't that go so high. Good. And like, and the kids were like, the flavor's good. And I'm like, oh yeah. I'm thinking, boy, when I look back, I'm like, Ooh. I have some learning to do. <laughs> mm, but um, I, I kept going with it. WGRC's Around the Valley is sponsored by Zook Septic Services, serving central Pennsylvania. Contact them for inspections, repairs, and system maintenance needs at 570-837-1466 or at zookseptic.com. By the way, that's why I'm not creative. This is why it'd be fun to watch you guys. Yeah. Um. So, and I even got a cookie for myself. Nice. There. Oh, what kind of yeah. what kind of um, cookies are these? These are always sugar. Always. If somebody sugar wants another flavor. Sorry, not doing it. So you always do sugar cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Because the thing is, if you're paying for a decorated cookie, you're not paying for like I like chocolate. Right. Or, Gingerbread. No. What if they no. pay extra? No. I really don't care that much. She's sticking to it. She's sticking to it. So, this is how I do it, and that's it. This is... Now, the reason is, is because, yeah, it's already a pain in the rear end as it is. Um, oh, so you put it on first and then poke this, it. Open. This is called 
lining icing, which is slightly thicker than this is considered oh, okay. flood icing. Okay. Um, so this is definitely thicker and this uh, puts up a barrier around the outside oh. so that this doesn't go flooding over the top. I always wondered how you stop and that I'm from happening. Telling you, it's important. I have, it, I have done this for so many years and I still, if I don't get this, this, the right consistency, yeah. it will flood off. If these cookies, like, so this is a delicate balance of, I like a very soft cookie. Some yeah. people do these hard. I don't like them hard. No. So I like a soft cookie, but you can't have a mounded up cookie because you can only imagine you put icing on it. Just it's going to, yeah. So you don't want that. Um, so you have to get a slightly flat cookie. So you have to take the baking powder out of it. Oh. So you have a very extremely small amount. I might have like a quarter teaspoon of baking powder okay. in a huge batch. They'll make like nine, 10 dozen cookies. Gotcha. So it's a very, very small amount. Cause the more I, when I first started out, I mean, they were delicious, but the, the icing was running everywhere because I didn't do the same recipe as the lady that I learned from. Her name was Amy McNamara. She lives up um, on Toursville Williamsport okay. area, or at least did. Um, she has a group called creating class mm. and she's like a designer and she's really cool in every way but um, you should see some of this girl i mean you're i'm, I'm gonna <laughs> talk you up too some of the stuff that she does oh my gosh it's amazing you should get her to do a uh a day one she put her oh. faces on there yeah. yeah that'd be great it may turn out good and it may also be like <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I open up the tip here because it doesn't take long for this to crust over. Oh. And you need it to come out. So that was your test spot. So whenever I do this, I'm gonna get my glasses on because I am, I am of that age. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. honestly, this is like the first time I ever saw this, I was like, I don't think I can do this. Like, because it sounds like, so you touch down and then you actually squeeze and lift up what, and let it fall on the edge of your cookie. Yeah, but look how circles, I, I did this on purpose. Circles are actually some of the hardest to do. Mm even though you don't think so, because over here on this side, there are reasons why I don't get real close to the edge on this side, because this cookie was slanted this way. Ah. So I thought if I do that, keep it on the it'll top. want to run off that side. Yeah. I feel like I should hold on to the cookie. You know what? It's my Whatever cookie. Whatever you need to do. There it is. You're jinxing me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a hostess. Like, okay. She's got to swirl. A little whoopsie doop at the end. Okay. Now it's, it's Dave's turn to turn right, the line. Here. You're going to show yeah, me that, up? That was not. I'm probably not. <laughs> it does. It's it does. harder than it looks. Yeah. Nice. Touch down first with it. That just attaches it. There you go. Like how it's super silent. No shortcuts. No oh, shortcuts. Oh, no shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> loop de -doo. You almost did a loop de doo without Love trying. It. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Circles are the hardest to do, am I right? Yes, for sure. How long would it take roughly to do like a dozen cookies? Um. Well, like the hands-on time, I would, depending on what, it just depends on what the degree of difficulty. This one, if I have all of them lined up, which I usually do, I have like these trays. Okay. And I'll get them out and I'll just try to line up at like at least six at a time. And so I'll line them, line them, line them, line them, and then I'll go through and flood. Um, but usually with this one, I'll have the flood and then I do that. Because if you wait too much longer, this won't fill back in yeah. the way it should. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. It takes a while. I've, I've filmed myself and each cookie can take for just a flood. It can take like two minutes just to flood it, to line it. it takes about a minute. Wow. Um, and then any kind of detail work oh. is just extra. 
So a lot of times it's a three day process for this as well. So after I do the, the flood, that's a day. Second day I will do the detail work and then third day I bag up because if you bag up too soon, you're gonna mess it up. Hey, who thought making cookies uh, it would be so much fun? Uh, Christy, this is actually an amazing story. It started out somebody giving you a gift yeah. just to do something, and it turned into this. So, yeah. wow, this is pretty cool. And I, and I honestly do have a greater appreciation when I go and see these beautiful cookies oh at stores. It, it is a lot of work put into them. Yeah, when you think about, you know, they do tend to be expensive, but there's a reason for it. There's yeah. so much time and effort um, that goes into making the cookies and to do a good job of it. Mm -hmm. So when you see these uh, local cookies made by Chrissy or anyone else, just pay the price. They put yes. a lot of work into it uh, so that we can enjoy good things. And I know I'm going to be leaving here enjoying a cookie and a loaf of bread. Sourdough bread. True yeah. sourdough bread. I'm so excited sourdough. for that. Yes. Yeah. What good gut benefit or good something? Good gut benefit. I'm, I, no guilt. <laughs> no guilt when eating the bread. <laughs> well, listen, uh, if you have an idea for Around the Valley, be sure to submit it to us, morning show at WGRC.com. Send it to us via email. And we certainly uh, we look at all of them and uh, we plan our next stop. And when you do so, who knows? We may just see you around the valley. All right. Well, Chrissy, thank you so much. Don't. Are you sure just one? Don't. What if I, what if I darken my eyes?